This video is for our kindergartners, first graders, and second graders, and will show and model for you how to use the First in Math online program. As you can see on the screen, I have already reached the First in Math program. You will be accessing this program using the district's class link site. Your teacher will show you more about how to access First in Math. Once you are in your own individual home page, you will notice that you have a big circle that has some blue highlighted areas. If you are in kindergarten, first grade, or second grade, you are going to want to start in the early K2 module. So when I go and click on that component, it is going to allow for me to practice and play many different math activities of my choosing. And the neat thing is that I'm going to start to earn points for every question that I get correct. So once again now, when I see all of these different modules that go around, I want to focus in the K2 world. So when I click on that purple K2 world, it's going to give me some more activities that I can choose from. Our first module is the numbers. And when I click on the numbers, you're going to notice that I have many different games and activities that I can play. Now, you'll also see that some of these have gold stars. Well, a gold star means that you have mastered that game. So you're probably going to want to find other areas to earn points from. So let me show you some of my favorite games that you too might enjoy playing. This game here that has the big five is the K2 five at a time game. And my five at a time game allows me to put some of my numbers in order. Where would the four go? <laughs> Where would the five go? Hmm, where would one go? One, two, three. Now if I make a mistake and put a number in the wrong spot, I can always move it to where I want it to go. Just like that, I've earned some points and my sticker count is improving. So now I'm back in my main page here of my K2 world. And I also have some other fun games and activities that I can play. Another one involves the more or less. More or less takes my number line to an even bigger number. Hmm, where would that six fall? I need to make a change in order to get this one right. So it works the same as the five at a time game. Another one of my favorite activities is the practice gyms in the K2 world. The practice gyms will let you choose from addition or subtraction. And you can add all of these different numbers to become stronger at math. So let's practice. Huh, there's two circles and it equals two. Does 1 plus 1 equal 2? Or does 3 plus 1 equal 2? Well, 1 plus 1 equals 2. So I'm going to click on that circle. Notice that my strength meter is getting bigger as I get stronger at math. What equals 11? 10 plus 1 more? Or 9 plus 1 more? Well, plus 1 means it comes after. Well, 10 plus 1 is 11. Notice my strength meter is getting even bigger. Not only am I getting stronger, but I'm earning stickers for showing my math knowledge. Oh, what equals 9? 8 plus 1 equals 9 or 10 plus 1 equals 9? Well, 8 plus 1 more equals 9. Oh, I am really getting strong. Now, let's pretend we don't know the answer to this problem. 9 plus 1 equals 10, or 11 plus 1 equals 10. 
Now, I know my friends of 10, 9 plus 1 equals 10. But let's pretend we get the answer wrong. Watch what happens to my strength meter. <gasps> I've lost all of my power. But the good news is, any stickers that I've earned, I haven't lost. So that is a good thing. And then I can just try again so that I can get better at math. I'm back in my K2 world. Now I can go to another one of our modules, Shapes and Logic. And again, you will find some more activities that you can play in here. One of the most popular is Rock, Paper, Scissors, Chess. So Rock, Paper, Scissors, Chess involves a rock, some paper, and some scissors. Rock, Paper, Scissors, Chess involves the paper only being able to move up or across, vertically or horizontally. The scissors can only move diagonally. Notice that it lights up yellow. And a rock can move anywhere on the board. Now, in rock, paper, scissors, the rock beats the scissors, the scissors beats paper, and paper beats the rock. So, would the paper or the scissors win? The scissor would win. Huh, the rock or the scissor? Which one would win? Oh, the rock would break the scissor, so it would win. The paper or the scissor? Let's suppose I get it wrong. Oh, the paper will beat the scissor, but look at that. It can't even move there. But I'd have to see that's going to be a hint that my answer is not correct. But look, when I grab my scissors, I can move it on there. Every time I'm getting one right, I'm earning some stickers. And that is a really good thing because you are showing your math knowledge. There are also many other games and activities that you can play in the Shapes and Logics module. But remember, once you play a game so many times and you've earned that gold star, you cannot earn any more stickers for that game. So you're going to want to go ahead and try to find some other activities to play. So I'm heading back to my home page here. And here's my K2 world. My third and final module are the know and show word problems. The know and show word problems starts with our first grade know and show. And then we have our second grade know and show. And the know and show word problems gives you some choices. If you had two tens and seven ones and you broke each ten into ones, how many ones would you have in all? Two tens and seven ones is 27. So that answer is correct. How would you read this number? 72. 72, 702, 27, 17. 72 is the answer. So I'm earning some points as I answer some number stories correctly. Notice that if I'm not a good reader, this little button here will read me the problem. Let's check it out. The number 80 is made up of blank tens and blank ones. Hmm, 80 is 8 tens and 0 ones. We're correct. All right. So the know and show will also help you to become a better mathematician. Now, outside of that K2 world, you also have access to some other really cool features that I want to show you. This here, which is light blue, is called the Very Important Facts. And the Very Important Facts will allow for you to go ahead and really become a better um, mathematician, better at adding and subtracting. Let me show you what I mean. No,
notice how the best athletes have their basic moves down cold? Since those skills are automatic, their brains are freed up to play the game at a higher level. It's the same with math. You need your basic facts to become automatic. So you can do math like a champ. The very important facts are games that will teach you a really easy way to add numbers, even double digits. VIF will give you the tools to succeed in math. Start now and play like a champion. Notice at the bottom you're going to see blue circles and red circles and some stars. The VIFs go in order. They actually will give you some videos which are designated by the blue circles and then the red circle is, donated, is designated by an activity that sees if you have learned what you were taught in all of the videos. So let's go ahead and try one of our games here. This is the zero rule game. Seven plus zero. Hmm. Seven plus zero is seven. Which circle has a seven in it? Oh, here it is. Oh, look at that. I ended up making a double match that time. Three plus zero is three. Here's my three. I'm going to drag it in. Zero plus five is five. Hmm, let me look for that. Oh, here it is. I'm going to drag it over. Now let's suppose I make a mistake. Six plus zero is six, but I'm going to say one. I have to start all over. So be very careful when you are in the VIFs. Oh, and also, you cannot skip around in the VIFs. You must go in order, but you're going to earn lots of stickers if you are successful. And whenever you see these circles with the star on it, that means it's like a little checkpoint. It's kind of going to give you an activity to see if you've learned everything before it. So you have to really pay attention and work hard to be successful at the VIFs. Another area that you may be working on this year is the just the facts. It's the yellow circle that has the plus, minus, subtraction, and division symbols. And when you click on it, you click on whole numbers, you'll have addition or subtraction. When you click on addition, a whole grid comes up. And then this grid will start by timing you. So when you hit the start button, you have 300 seconds to answer as many as you can. Zero plus zero, zero, and then I hit enter. Zero plus nine, nine. Zero plus five is five. Notice that they are filling up my grid in a nice pretty blue color. 4 plus 7 is 11. 2 plus 8, oh, friend of 10, equals 10. Enter. Let's pretend I get this wrong. 4 plus 1 is 5. But let's say I put 4. It put it as a different color so it keeps track of which facts I need to practice. So my time is going down, so I want to concentrate whenever I am in the Just the Facts module. Now your homepage also has some really cool information. When you scroll down, you're going to notice that your sticker count is there. And that's going to be really important as the school year goes on, because you're going to want to earn as many stickers as you can. And you also have your team name, because each class is part of a team. Now, not just that, but you will also get to see who the top five players are in your class because maybe you want to try to be the best. Oh, and that student that earns the most stickers each day? Well, they are known as the player of the day and they'll get to wear the first in math lanyard and receive a tremendous recognition in their classroom. Another really cool feature about First in Math is that you're going to notice that you have a goals index. 
these goals index allow for you to work on specific math skills. And when I click on it, it will actually take me to these goals. My blue goals up here at the top is how many stickers that I've earned, with the goal being to get 1,500 stickers. In my purple area, this is my fact fluency area. And you can see that I practice in those gyms and get stronger, then I can increase my fact fluency score. At the bottom is called my procedural fluency, which are some skill sets. And you'll notice that it is in a different color also. And then over here, I have my word problem fluency, which is our know and show problems. So our goals index can go all the way up to 100. It's not easy to do. You're going to have to really work hard to meet that challenge. Now, one of the other incredible things about First in Math is that each day we have a player of the day, but each week we have a team of the week. If you are part of the class that has earned the most stickers in the week, you will be recognized throughout the school. That means whether you're doing this at home or in school, your stickers will tally as part of a team. Oh, and if you get 10,000 or more stickers, you will become a member of the Wall of Fame. In the upper right hand corner, you're also going to notice there's a little mail envelope. And it has some numbers there. If you click on that envelope, you're going to notice that you have mail. And there are lots of badges in this First in Math student's account. Whenever you are successful at First in Math, you will receive a new badge. This student finished skill set two. View your certificate. You can click on it and you get a certificate. Pretty cool. Scrolling down, this student has earned lots and lots of different badges. This is also a way for a teacher to send you messages. But you can also message your teacher by clicking on the Message Your Teacher button. So sometimes your teacher might send you an assignment, so you're going to always want to check your mail. Another feature of First in Math is the family link. As soon as you begin using First in Math, a family member also gets a free account. All right, my friends, go ahead and log into First in Math and explore the wonderful activities that you have available right there on your computer. Oh, and I hope you earn a lot of stickers. Maybe you will become a member of our Wall of Fame.